there. Yes, we're back again with another video. Another video for you. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the level three cap video today. So I got the caps lined up and I got a few cans. Oh, also, uh, a bunch of you been asking me about a good yellow. So I picked out a good yellow to demo with the level three caps today too. And what else, what else? I guess that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with the video because I know you are waiting to see what the caps are like. So I'll see you in a second. All right, sick. Let's go ahead and test it on this Montana Black because I know a lot, of, a lot of you guys really like the black cans. I'll do, in this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test it on the black. I'm also gonna test it on a low pressure paint. So I'm gonna use Flame Blue and then I'll test it on a Rusto uh, can with an adapter. I'm trying to trying to expand these tests a little bit more, which means we'll probably have to go back and retest some of those other caps. So forgive me for not doing that beforehand, but it's a work in process. All right, let's go ahead and start at two inches. Nice. Like I said, see, it's a very solid line. It doesn't give you that airy like halo. Let me try it at six inches here. See what I mean? It's more filled in the center than a lot of the other caps. Where the other ones is more like a like a hard outline and very soft in the center. So again, it's a, it's a much harder, harder outline cap, as you can see here. Very hard line, uh, very nice fades, very clean. It's very hard, yet clean, which makes it, I think, an excellent cap if you want to do freight trains. I wouldn't sleep on this freight, guys. All right, dope. Let's give it a shot on the flame blue. And uh, I have here is cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a good yellow, and I understand it's hard to find a good opaque yellow these days. And I think I found it. It's this color right here. Very nice, very bright too. I would say it's a bang up shade, not too shabby. Not too bad at all. All right, guys, so I got here is some Satin Oasis Blue with my handy dandy sect adapter that I found in the train yard. You guys remember that live feed that we did where I found that one? Still working. Uh, anyway, so I got some Satin Oasis, and this is a nice shade, by the way. If you're using Rusto, definitely pick up this color, and this is why I think it's a great cap for people painting freights, because chances are you probably have a few cans of Rusto under your belt. All right, let's do a quick little star here with it. Definitely comes out with more pressure on the Rusto can, absolutely. But man, it's still very clean for Rustoleum. I think this will be a great cap for guys who like to paint freights. Definitely pick up the level three. I think you will not be disappointed. All right, guys, I got this can of white out. I thought it'd be fun to do a quick little straight or fill or I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But we'll go ahead and fill it in. And I just want to see how the level three works with it and uh, see what this white out's all about. go just a little quickie a little shout out to my girl inky still thinking about you boo uh you know those paints all did pretty well together pretty happy with the rusto mixed with the flame blue and the montana no uh reactions or anything of that nature not too shabby so why don't we go into the office do a little close out and uh why don't we reply to some comments on youtube yes let's do that Oh, hey, what's going on? I was just trying to review some images that I just shot and for some reason this camera is not working right. Technology, right? Let's get this out of here. <laughs> Stupid. But yo, um, I just wanna do a quick little roundup of some of the colors that I used on this little, you know, quick little straight letter. A little shout out to Inky. My girl, rest in peace, baby. Yo, so I had, what is it? I had the aqua dark, I had the cadmium yellow, I had this Montana whiteout, whiteout, white, whiteout. Um, this this uh, Rustoleum 2X, what is it again? Oh yeah, um, Satin Oasis Blue. This is a fantastic color. It covers really nice. 
It works really well with the level 3 cap. And uh, I gotta tell you, this old uh, sect adapter I found in the train yard in the hobo pile, it's working pretty good. Big up to sect for making such a sturdy product. Uh, also, I had this, uh, was this Bordeaux red? No, it's uh, cherry red. I still really like this color a lot. It, it, it covers really good. It doesn't hide over the dark colors like black as well, but this is pretty normal for red shades. Um, but the tone of it's really nice and it, go, it makes a very, very nice hard line. Really like it a lot. Um, this yellow, oh, man, cadmium yellow. You guys gotta get this. If you're looking for a yellow that covers really well, you gotta get on this cadmium because it is just the bee's knees, guys. Really, really is the bee's knees. I know you're all looking for a high covering yellow. This is the one to get. Look no further. Excellent for piecing, excellent for outlines, excellent, excellent, excellent. Did I say this was excellent? Yes, this was excellent. Now this Montana Whiteout, Whiteout. Um, it seems to cover pretty good. I don't know if it really covers any better than Kills or any better than the Signal White in the uh, Flame Blue. Although it might last longer, that might be the thing about it. I don't have a lot of information on it. It covers good. I wouldn't say it's the best covering white. Hard to say. I, I guess I need to do some further testing with it. I think that's what we need to do. It covered okay. It's nice. I guess I was expecting more. I don't know. Maybe my standards are too high. That might be. You know, same thing with the rust -oleums. I know I beat up on them sometimes, but you know, when I honestly find a color I like, I'm gonna be honest and I like it. And you know, the sect adapters are great. And with this combination, it's pretty good. It's actually not too bad. So that's pretty much it for those. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, future videos. Yes, we are going to be doing the ultra wide. You guys have been asking about it. Yeah, it's a big boy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be doing this up soon. Uh, I think we need to experiment, play around with this a little bit more. Um, oh, in the spider can. Some of y'all asking about the spider can. It's more of a special effects thing, if you feel me. But I don't know, we'll, we'll find something to do with it. Oh, there it goes. But anyways, uh, before we go out, I want to respond to a few YouTube comments. So let me see if I can reach my MacBook without falling here. What the? All right, why don't we go through some comments on one of the more recent videos. This is the Montana Gold video. A lot of people had a lot to say, so let's, let's take a look at what, what's going on in your world over there. All right, first, Multifunctions Paper says, Europe is not a land. Nice review. Milady. <laughs> I get, it's a continent, isn't a continent land? I didn't say it was a country. Come on now. 105th Incorporated says, I feel you and Custom Grow 420 would have a good hang. You both have that personality. Yeah, maybe we probably could. I'm pretty cool with chilling with most people. I think we probably can hang out. Uh, let's see, Sean.NK says, shut the fuck up and spray it. This is Green Ranger Review, Sean. I do it my way. <laughs> Claudia Claudia says, shake them. Excellent advice, Claudia. Excellent advice. Bad 13 Luck 13 says, toy. Emilio B wants to know, what does Banksy use? I'm sure he uses whatever he gets, like most writers. Um, did I call Banksy a writer? That's gonna ruffle some feathers. <laughs> Deuces Roxy says, do unshaken versus shaken. Maybe this is a big fat myth, lol, JK, but would make a cool vid. Maybe we should. I like, I actually like doing pointless experiments that you already know the answer to. It's fun. Mad Dog wants to know, but does it get you high? Goddamn hippie dollars to donuts. This guy's in Kamiformia, yee yee. I, I don't even know what that guy's talking about. 
uh, Daiso One. Uh, let's see, what does Daiso One says? What's up, Daiso? He says, you always put out good content, man. Took your advice on the respirator and filters. Good job, man. Thank you for wearing a respirator. I feel so much better painting with one. Ha ha. It's in my latest video, by the way. Anyways, oh, check out Daiso One's YouTube channel. He's got a video up. D-A-I-S-O. One, O-N-E. Anyways, I found the Montana Gold to be really dusty on thin tips like Yellow Universals uh, or the, uh, the Iron Lack Vegans. I haven't tried the vegan caps yet, so I don't know. He says he couldn't achieve very clean details. My experience is different, buddy. I found to get to be very, very clean. Um, the Montana Black I found to be a little bit more on the dusty side than the gold. Uh, but the gold, I would say, is just as clean as the Molotov Premiums. You know, and it, Within each brand, you're gonna find some colors more dusty than others. That's just the way it is. Adam Brandon says, it's an hard E at the end of bode. Two syllables, rhymes with grody, so bode instead of bode. Yeah, you know, I've heard it said both ways. I guess I've heard more people say bode in my life than bode. So I don't know, maybe it's just burger speak. It's hard to say. Uh, I know it does have that little effect on it, but like I said, most people I know say von bode, not von bode, but you know, Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Preston says, came out awesome, GR. I'd jizz if I saw that trash can. <laughs> Quite an excitable young man you are. <laughs> Kareem Magribi says, I love your shirt. It's in Arabic. No, it's not. Look at the shirt again. <laughs> Martin Desment says, Always fun to get advice from someone with no can control. Sounds like you're uh, got, a, got a little constipation going on there, Martin. Need something to loosen it up. <clears throat> Spook Half says, GR, your Slav squat is on point. Well, thank you very much. I, I guess it's not because I tried to squat while holding my MacBook on top of that kaboom box, but I was about to fall over, so I had to sit down. I'll get better. Torture Killer says, Green Ranger talked to me about the birds and the bees. It must have been through Instagram. Oh, are you following me on Instagram? At Green Ranger Reviews, you better be following me. Defect says meme jihad now. I concur, meme jihad now. L Jot says these cans are 10 years old or older. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not even close to that. What are you talking about, dude? Production date, 2017. Why, why do, do you, why do people go on the internet just to lie? <laughs> what are you? Correct the record. <laughs> Overdose over underscore dose seven one three says, "What's up with some iron lac? What is up with that?" I think we need to work on that. Good suggestion. ISRV is serve is serve says painting with those cans is sweet passionate love. Woo. A romantic painter. I bet the ladies love you. Um, <laughs> all right. I think that's enough for uh, comments. I got to get going, guys. Um, I got other videos to make. So remember, if you ever need graph supplies. Hit us up, 206-365-4083. What's that number? 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com. Artprimo.com, your number one source for all things graffiti and me, Green Ranger, shit posting. It's what I do. Hello, Art Primo. Yes, I would love to help you. 20,000 cans, stat. All right, man, I'll send it out right now. So remember, if you need cans, oh, and we got bulk pricing now. If you're a muralist, hit us up for bulk pricing. Hit me up for bulk pricing. 206-365-4083. 20 cases for wholesale, baby. 20 cases for wholesale. I got you, fam, I got you. So I gotta go, booze. Talk to you later.